So it's time to do your one thing. The one thing that you know you need to do in order to quit this porn thing for good, in order to succeed with this no fap journey. Your one thing, guys, is what I teach the men that I work with in my groups, in my mentoring. Your one thing is the one thing that you know you need to do that you probably should do, but you probably won't do and you definitely don't wanna do it because why? Why are you not doing it? Because you have a underlying agenda, consciously or subconsciously, to keep the habit with you as long as possible in order to not get rid of the habit. Why would you do that? Why? Simply put, the reason you haven't done your one thing is because the benefits of keeping the habit with you outweigh the apparent negative impacts, if that makes sense. In other words, you have relied on porn for so long as a crutch to lean on, as an old bad friend that lives in your closet that you go to in times of stress and difficulty, and the idea of giving it up subconsciously or consciously is too much for you to bear, so you avoid doing the things that you know you need to do. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you the things, the one thing that I did in order to beat porn, but also the things that um, a lot of the guys that I work with across the board, if they do these three things, then it is what is needed to kick them into gear to set them on the trajectory to getting better, um, to beating their habit without actually being it being that difficult. And I promise you, they're not as challenging to do uh, as you think, because I'm going to take you on this journey to do it in a really easy and subtle way. All right. So number one is you've got to, maybe you need to tell someone about your habit. I know that's not what you want to hear. You don't want to tell anybody. Well, guys, there's a reason that telling someone is so powerful, right? And I think you might agree with me that this is something that's probably going to help you a lot in your journey. If you're really serious about this, if I had a gun to your head and I said, if you act out again, your life is over, you'd probably do this, right? (laughs) So telling someone, It could be a spouse, it could be a partner, it could be a friend, it could be accountability partner, it could be be me guys. But the reason that this is important is because it will instantly send a very strong signal to yourself and to your habit that this is things are different. Things are not as busy as usual and I'm going to change. I'm going to go in a different direction in my life and I'm not going to act out. I'm not going to relapse anymore. When you tell somebody, it's it has that identifiable point in your life and time that you got serious about this porn thing and that's the one thing that probably you do need to do. Number two, it says get the software. Get the bloody software. Maybe this is it, right? Uh, One of the guys that I was mentoring, he kept putting off software and I was like why don't you just get some porn blocking software because it like covenant eyes or something like that uh and and I kept asking them him that and he kept putting it off like oh I'm not that guy I'm not the guy that requires software I'm not going to pay for that or anything like that and I kept asking him dig, digging deep and pe- peeling back the layers and eventually he came out and said well actually I realized that you know it's probably going to be good for me and I think it's the one thing I need to do that I'm avoiding because I really don't want to give up porn, right? Maybe that's the thing you need to do. So if you want to give up uh, porn with software, I'm going to put a handy video right down below. That's my full review of all the softwares that are out there and I'm just going to give you the best one for your situation. All right, get the software. Maybe that's it. Another guy I was working with uh, was, uh, was telling someone he was putting off his relationship in particular with his with his mother. Uh, and many times it's with a spouse or with um, a dad, a father. And it's a specific relationship that you kind of need to work on and, and heal in order to recover for good. And this guy was particularly working on his relationship with ma- his mom. And it turned out that that was the exact thing that he needed to do in order to get better. And his mo- the more he worked on that communication and he met with her every week, took walks together and kind of started more working on this uh, relationship. It was the thing he needed to do. And he's been really consistent about not watching porn and not giving in to temptation. All right. So number three is going to be consume more content. Okay. So this is, if you are, you know, maybe feel like these aren't the one thing that you need to do. Maybe all you need to do is consume more content like this video. Maybe you need to subscribe so that YouTube sends you more uh, videos that are actually going to help you quit porn instead of those other raunchy videos that probably are <laughs> YouTube is sending you, right? So consume more content like this, a, a YouTube channel, a podcast, or anything like that that's going to help you keep your energy level up. And the what, the reason this is important is it keeps your motivation up and going, and it's a constant reminder to yourself that you're working on this thing and you're not going to slide and you're more intentional with your downtime, with your free time, with your commute, with your time on YouTube than just 
consuming and binge watching the next thing that YouTube's gonna feed you. So my challenge for you today is to figure out what your one thing is and take a step in that direction. Take a step in telling someone or getting software or consuming more content or doing whatever you feel like you need to do in order to get better. If this video is helpful, I want you to like it so it does help more guys to spread around. I would appreciate that very much. And also this video right here is how to get started with beating porn for good. That's the seven stage process that I use for the guys that I mentor. I think you're gonna like it. It's good to have you. Take care.